everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I love when people don't do the things that they tell me that they're going to do for me. I'm really sorry about the dark. My house has like zero lights in it and it's dark outside. Well, the moment you fell, you could start over new. Was it saying that you realized the stories were true? You open your eyes and the world you could see It wasn't dim, it was brighter, you'd have to agree getting ready to go to the theater and I wanted to start the vlog here. I need to pack up a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna go real quick. Stella, what are you doing? I also need to call my husband so I'm gonna do that and yeah he's like I want to go down the stairs. I want to do it but he also is scared so <sighs> Date night. Yes, it is date night. So we are going, we're playing You're arcade games because that was our date for this week. Date night. And I have high anxiety and I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> but date Press. night. Alright, it's like 8 o'clock and we're in the car so it's dark. But, um, it's actually only 7.45. But we are on our date. We're actually heading downtown to get a drink. We had fun so far, I think. We've had fun. We got tacos for dinner. And... Uh -oh. I had taco a burrito. John. He had a burrito. We just got Taco John's for dinner, and then we... Okay. <laughs> you inhaled a potato. I did. I almost choked. I choked on and almost died on a potato that I inhaled and definitely is now s s rattling around in my lungs. But, so, the big thing that... The reason that I was like, I have a... I've, I'm so anxious and, like, stressed, but not stressed, but excited. It's, like, excited anxiety, excitement, anxiety, anxiousness, whatever. She's freaking out. Because we're going to look at a house tomorrow and it wasn't really like making me anxious or anything or like it really wasn't a big deal until we called the realtor today because he was like, well, make sure you have your pre-approval letter. And we were like, we didn't get one of those because we don't know that we're actually gonna buy this house and like we don't wanna run our credit and risk ruining our credit for not the right house because we're not necessarily like, yep, now we're starting to like consistently look. We're just kind of casually looking. So Gregory called him and kind of like explained the situation and whatever and talked to him for a little bit. And he came back essentially just saying. He's cool with us just having an estimate and not, not an actual pre-approval statement and confirmation um, because he understood that after the year of working with uh, myself and, and Hannah, uh, kind of what we're looking for and what we're wanting to do. And we're basically looking for the perfect house that... So we'll only have property. to move one time. Yeah. Rather than this is a good property for now, we'll find a better one later. But he was like, but if you guys decide you want it, and this is the part that made me so anxious... We need to have your... 100% boom boom lockdown pick of the week is what he said. In other words, if we decide that we want it, this house tomorrow, we're putting in the offer after the weekend, getting our paperwork rolling, and then doing a 30 day close. Yep. Right. And that stresses me out a little bit. It shouldn't. I'm excited though. Like, it's excited stress because, like, the fact that everyone's telling us we can do this and I didn't think we could do this for another like almost year, like nine months at least, 
makes me very excited, but like at the same time, it also kind of makes me want to puke. We're gonna go into the bar. The bar. Bye -bye. Okay, everybody, we're here. Gabriel's excited. We're just waiting for our realtor to get here and then we'll go out and look at stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> itself and the house itself is it's super uneven I think that would give me too much of a headache but it ain't great Love, Genevieve.